Set the tempo around 85 to 90 beats per minute. In this tutorial, I'll be remaking Slow Dancing in the Dark by Joji, and I'll show you how the track is structured and the basic elements of that track. We're gonna start off with the melody over here. For that sound, I used a Vital preset from MHA Sample Pack, and then I used another sound as well from the plugin from FL Studio called Sakura, but I don't have the full version, I just have the trial version, so I think I did something illegal, I don't know, don't try this at home. I <laughs> recorded the sound that was coming out of FL Studio, and I put it into here as a sound file. So the sound sounds like this. And then parts to that, the song, I also layered it with the same thing, but just pitched up uh, 12 cents. And now the chords. I actually spent a lot of time making these chords. Uh, I'll just uh, show you how it sounds first. I accomplished the sound by a vital preset and a preset, well not really a preset, I just made this myself from 3 times oscillator, which is default in FL Studio. And the reason why I took so long making this sound is because of the automation that I did. Uh, in the original track, there's like a, it takes like a while for it to start, like for the chords to actually start like to play. So I accomplished this by a kickstart and by chopping it up as you see here I delayed it like uh, I didn't delay it I just chopped it like that for each bar if you see that I'll show you the kickstart actually set to one bar and the high chain preset so yeah I set it to only play for the full bar and then for the second bar I just automate it out and then that just happens for every every other bar. And then I set the volume of the uh, mixer track that it's on to decay after a while. Not completely like turn off, but just a little bit after two bars. And then for basic mixing, I just EQ'd out all the lows and then I put a little filter on it just to amplify the sound that I want. And then another set of chords that I have over here is just a little pad. Same same chords and everything. Next we have the bass, which is just the bass notes from the chords. Sorry about the clicking sound at the beginning. I used two vital presets from MHA sample pack. Basically all you really need is just like an amplified sub bass. Now for the drums. The drums are actually really simple. Uh, you have one kick starting on uh, the beginning of each bar, as you see right here. Then we have some claps in the middle of each bar. Lots of reverb on the claps as well. This clap is actually a default from FL Studio, if I could find it in here. Here it is. And I just obviously turned down the volume. And then the hi-hat pattern, uh, it's a standard, uh, I think it's every two, yeah. Uh, fill in each two steps, and I layered the hi-hat for this one using two sounds. And I changed the rhythm over here, so every time the hi-hats meet the clap, the hi-hats completely stop. At the next kick, it starts up again, and then it goes past the clap, and then it does a little right there. So that's basically all it for the drums, and then for the structure portion of this, uh, the intro and the chorus are exactly the same, except I added the bass in the chorus. The intro has no bass, it's just kind of introducing the track, obviously, and then the verse just has the melody, just has the pad, and then just has the bass. So in the beginning, all you want is the melody, the big chords and the drums, 
uh, the verse, you have the melody, the pad and the bass with the drums. And then in the chorus, you want everything all together. And yeah, here is the final result right now. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like subscribe and comment for more tutorials i have a new song coming out next week and i hope you enjoy that coming up so yeah see you later